What's going on, Cancer? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for November 21st to the 27th, 2022. So in this reading, Cancer, we are going to take a look at your overall general energy for the week. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming, and we're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides uh, for this upcoming week. But before we begin this reading, Cancer, as always, I would like to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we move through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Cancer, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates that would also be greatly appreciated over here, Cancer. So without further ado, I'm going to pull the energy and we'll see what wants to come through for you for this week. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of cancer. Damn, cancer. Um, <laughs> so there seems to be um, a big opportunity coming your way in love, especially with someone who could be providing you a lot of stability. I feel like there's someone here who wants to protect you or there's someone who wants to offer you this week. Um, they want to take it to the next level with you. So if you're dating them, they may, they may want to like uh, get married or if you're just talking to them, like there's some sort of increase and the thing is, is that this person can provide you something that you're really needing at this time in terms of security and feeling like protected with your root chakra. So um, it's really interesting because your opportunity and your challenge is the queen and king of pentacles here, uh, Cancer, for this. Um, I got a new camera, so it's not even going to focus here. But your opportunity is the queen of pentacles and your challenge is the king of pentacles. So there's something here about the potential of a power couple that is brewing with you. There's something about security. This person could be offering you um, financial freedom or something like that. We're going to have to see what it is. You could be a little bit like you don't want to give up your control or uh, something to do with that cancer. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But then we move here, cancer, to... Um, to your overall general energy. And in your overall general energy, it's pretty damn intense and a little bit conflicting. Um, you have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and also the Hermit card here, Cancer, in your overall general energy. So there's something that you're really uh, gonna have to dig deep within yourself to really consider. I feel like there's something that's um, conflicting in you. You know, I'm, what I'm getting from this is there's, there's an opportunity for you this week where a big part of you is screaming no and a big part of you is screaming I should or it's not even I should but it's like this is this is something that would be good for me and so this is like a dilemma that I feel like you've been this is like a theme that you've been dealing with uh, for the last little while here we're gonna have to clarify to see what this is really about cancer um, but it's it's something that you, you know, the two of swords here, it's like maybe you miss an opportunity if you don't really think deeply about the ramifications of doing it or not. We're going to have to see. But then Cancer, we move here to, um, to what you don't see coming. Definitely here. I mean, some of you may have to make a choice in love if you're single and you have multiple people pursuing you here. Um, if that's not the case here, I feel like there's someone who wants to take care of you. You have three kings popping out in this reading. Cancer, um, and you have the King of Wands, the King of Swords, and also the uh, Knight of Cups here in what you don't see coming. So depending on who you are, Cancer, there's either someone here who really loves you. I feel like there's someone either way who's really into you, who loves you no matter what. 
But some of you, if you're single, you may have to make a choice between two different people who you want to commit your energy to. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Someone who's more exciting, but who doesn't have their shit together versus someone who's like more logical and like something like that for the single people. For those of you um, in a relationship though, there could be something about like, you don't want to give over your control. No matter who you are, there's something about a really intense love offer that it's there. I mean, there's love in your heart for this person, but it's like, it makes the hairs on the back of your neck, like stand up or something. Um, so what that's about, we're going to have to see as we clarify, right? But the love is there. You're certainly not, um, being ignored. People are pursuing you here. All I'm getting is people are pursuing you. They want what you have and, um, what it's your energy basically. So that's obviously should be very precious to you in some sort of way. Um, but then we have the advice from your spirit guides, Cancer, and the advice from your spirit guides here, um, you have the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, and also the five of pentacles here, and the advice from your spirit guides here. So there's, there's definitely something here about your own independence, right? The nines are about, you know, the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups are about independent people. And so you might want to consider what you're going to gain versus lose by committing to someone is basically what I feel this is about where on the one hand um you have a path to security and I'm not saying like any of you are like going to be like dependent on this person or whatever but um in some sort of way there's just something about like this could be what you're asking for but then once again I don't know if you're stubborn I don't know if you're like just really like defensive about someone who wants to move it forward with you um, that's kind of what I see here. So we're going to, it's one of those things we're going to have to clarify what it's about. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and start doing that. And let's go ahead and see why the, why is the queen of, um, pentacles here as your opportunity? You also could have an opportunity like to, to do something with your work here, but for some reason there's a lot of other people involved here. All right. There's a lot of other, there's a lot of people involved here with you this week. So let's see why the queen of pentacles is your opportunity. Okay. Um, you have the king of cups and you also have the page of cups here. Yeah. And you also have the two of cups here. I mean, for a lot of you, especially those single cancers out there, you are really going to have a make a choice. It's, it's, it's coming out in two different ways. You're going to have to make a choice in love between a mature person and a more immature person here. This camera is literally going to be the death of me. But the King of Pent the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Two of uh, Wands here, I feel like there's someone here who's offering you security or someone basically who's more mature, who may be a little bit more boring. And then you have someone who's the Page of Cups here who is very exciting. But for some reason, they don't it's like they could be a little bit toxic or they could be like not having their shit together and you're going to have to make it the opportunity is to choose between two of these people all right you you're going to have to make a choice here um now let's go ahead and see why the the king of pentacles is here for you in your challenge cancer why is the king of pentacles here in your challenge some of you this could be your own path as well you know just do you want to be more mature or do you want to be more free young wild and free right let's see why the king of pentacles is your challenge there may be a challenge for you to commit to some sort of mature path because why because it's boring and cancer doesn't want shit to be boring i don't blame you but let's see Ooh, the king of pentacles in your challenge is clarified by the magician by the four of cups by the three of pentacles and also by the ten of wands here so the, the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician, the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like somewhat, this is, the, the thing is, is that you manifested this opportunity. Like if you've been asking for security, it's now on the table for you. Your challenge is this, that you feel like it's too much though. I don't care like what this is about. It's like a burden. You don't want to take on a burden. You don't want to, you don't want to it, uh, commit to things that like you don't want to honor. You don't want to hurt someone maybe. Um, but there's some sort of thing here about like your challenge is like emotionally. I don't know if you're really on board with this person. I think there's something about there, there's something about maybe you're not really in love with someone who's offering you security. And so maybe that's wise for you to be like, yeah, I'm not just going to like sell myself out for this. Right. But then 
that leaves you feeling either lonely or more despondent for others of you in a harsher situation. So, jingle bells all the way. <laughs> um, let's keep going and uh, let's clarify why. Probably the two of swords is here. Why you, what's, what's shut down here, Cancer? Why is it two of swords? Seven of Cups here. Yeah, you almost just want to shell up and, and not even make a decision, right? You have the Seven of Cups popping out. It's like you're at a precipice. You're at a choice point here, and you don't know what to do with it. Why is it Two of... No, too many. Why is it Two of Swords here? Uh, two more shuffles. Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands here. Yeah, this is like literally a theme that you've been dealing with for a really long time, Cancer, of um, there's something about you not wanting to give up your independence, and I don't know if you should either. I don't really know if it's good for you personally to do this. All right, you have the Nine of Cups, and you also have the Nine of Wands here in, um, in this clarification. So... I'm not even trying to tell you what to do. I'm just letting you know, like, you're going to have to really dig deep. Because, like, the opportunity's here. It's like, what are you going to do with it this week? You're either going to shut the door or you're going to open the door, right? So let's also clarify. Um, let's clarify why the Knight of Cups is here. Tell me a little bit more about this love offer that's coming your way. I do feel like someone's, like, romantically in love with you. But I don't think you're feeling them as much as they're feeling you. Especially that more mature person for the single. Um, and even if you're in a relationship, there's something that you're like, well... I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. No. No, too many. I'm going to do two more, Cancer. I'm going to do two more here. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and also the Moon. Um, yeah, you don't know if you want to invest your... I, I mean, I, I feel like I just keep saying the same thing in this reading. I feel like no matter where I go, Spirit's saying, like, you... There could be some... You, like, you don't know this person yet, or, like, you need to get to know this person more. The Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Moon here. You just don't know if you're ready to invest your energy into this yet. All right? This, this camera is literally going to kill me. Um... But yeah, I don't, I just, I just, there's something about this offer that you're like, I don't know if I'm ready to do this right now, bro or girl or whoever it is, right? Um, and then for, especially for a lot of you, you definitely do have a choice. You have a choice between two different people. And um, I feel like one of them is the person who's been around you for a long time. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and see some advice from your spirit guides now, Cancer. Um, let's go ahead and... Let's see why the five of, why is the five of pentacles here in the advice? Why is this here in the advice from your spirit guides for you? I really feel like every clarification in this reading, there's only one thing you got to worry about this week, and that's a choice in love. I mean, but it's deeper than that, obviously, but let's see why the five of pentacles is here. Sorry if you hear like a mumbling. I feel like someone is playing something. Five of Pentacles in your advice is clarified by the world, the Three of Wands, and also the Five of Swords here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like you have a vision for your life that you feel somehow is not where you want it to be somewhere and I do feel like this opportunity is gonna be here to help you upgrade uh, your life cancer but there's something that feels off about it once again the five of swords the three of wands and also the world card here like you making plans um, to upgrade your life I feel like this is the opportunity you've been waiting for but for some reason maybe committing your energy to this person will take away from another career aspiration that you have 
or something like that. Listen, this is, I literally am like, I, um, the, the energy just keeps, I just feel like I'm going in circles this reading. So I'm going to conclude this reading. You have a choice to make about you want to be independent or do you want to be with someone? It's up to you, Cancer. I hope that this provided you clarity and insight and I'll talk to you next time. This is the Autistic Mystic. Peace.